Yeah, baby. He's all eaten away. But first. Hey, everybody. Hey, Jim. Well, today I'm working on the Z4 again and I'm working on the grills and the wheels. So I have pressure washed and cleaned these really good with an eye towards knocking off as much of this several layers of previous paint as I can. And then I'll, after they're dry, I'll prep them a little more. And I actually got some black gloss uh, paint today from an automotive paint supply store that is hardener based. And I'm gonna try and repaint the wheels using one of my new spray guns to practice a little bit before I attempt to actually paint the Z4. So first off, I'm gonna clean up the dumb, ugly grills that someone painted a bunch of times. So I pulled them out of the car, which was fairly easy. And I took this trim ring off and it's held on just by these little, uh, these little clip things that clip right on to here so it's real easy to pry them off just don't pry too much without break so i guess this was originally chrome so what i'm going to try to do is i'm going to try to uh, take off this black paint and expose the chrome again and if the chrome is bad underneath then i'll just go ahead and paint them again but uh, I'm, I'm trying to put it back to the chrome trim so let's see if i can achieve that I tried a little bit with uh, no chemical help and it wasn't going very far. So I used a little bit of this stuff and it's liquid. It's not uh, like the jelly kind. So I poured a little bit in one of my handy dandy little dishes and I used a uh, white scrubber. And look at that. It came out pretty good. That's the other one I've just barely started. And we're back to chrome. This thing's in pretty bad shape. It's cracked in places, a couple of the tabs are broken, but I think it's going to look way better going back on here with a black grill insert and the chrome trim like BMW designers intended. Now on to the next one. Yeah, these trim rings look perfectly acceptable for this car. Yeah, they're very pitted. And uh, yeah, a little rough, but that's okay. Check this out. I spent maybe 30 minutes with some 240 grit going across, uh, trying to get as much of the bad. Uh, they had lots of orange peel from a couple of uh, poorly executed rattle can jobs and a bunch of fish eyes. And so it's quite a bit better, far from perfect, but I'm pretty happy with it. I'm gonna let it dry, trim rings will go back on, and I think that is gonna look much nicer when these go back in, which isn't gonna be for another week or so, cause <laughs> I gotta paint this thing. So maybe I should start working on these dents. Looks like that's got some high spots in it, as well as that big low. Yeah, there's one here. Probably start working on those. I have to wait for my wheels to dry, so I'm probably not going to get to the paint job on those today. I'm going to paint them tomorrow. I have to go and get some stuff from uh, Harbor Freight, but I can certainly start on this. So now you know I'm committed to this. <laughs> I'm going to remove the paint from this area here. Be careful not to hit the bumper or the light or anything like that. I'm sure I could use a power tool for this, but boy, let's give a little exercise this way. Get big burly arms, forearms like Popeye. Oh, stuff, stuff, stuff. Okay. Well, that's looking 
interesting. So I'm going to keep digging away and get the paint out of the actual dent there. And that way when I put my filler on, it will be able to grip real good in there. So I'm going to get it down to bare metal inside there. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this little dent here. Boy, looks like I need a manicure. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Now you know I really am going to paint this thing, huh? <laughs> so I've removed more paint from those dents. And I started taking it off down here. And I got most of it out of there. I used to little bit of help from the Dremel to get it out of there. I don't have to go huge uh, paint removal. I'm going to end up sanding a little bit more uh, and then before I start with filler I've got to, I should have done it first but I didn't yet. I'm going to go over the whole car with a wax remover. Yeah, degreaser. This stuff. So I'm going to go over the whole car and clean it real good. And then I don't have to remove all that much more paint, I don't think, because this says right here can be applied over sanded, well, I don't have OEM paint, but can be applied over sanded paint. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be interesting to see how this all works out. Um, I guess this should be, uh, um, this is definitely not a how-to. This is uh, more like a uh, what if, because <laughs> I'm figuring this out as I go along. So I am not uh, by any means professing to have any sort of uh, uh, expertise at any of this. Um, this is more like, uh, uh, hopefully it's uh, will end up successful and not just be like a really slow motion car crash. Um, but I, I, uh, I hopefully will be able to make this work and I'll learn a lot in this effort. And that's, what's going to be fun is I'm going to learn about how all this stuff works and the painting works and all of that. And, and then, uh, hey, if it comes out crappy, I can always take it over to Earl Shive. Or drive it off a cliff. <laughs> I wouldn't drive it off. I'd actually just push it. Well, I guess I could always hit it with a plasma blaster. Farmers. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. Nah, I didn't burn down the garage. Yet. Well, I think that's going to kind of be it for uh, today. I'm going to keep working on the, the body repair a little bit more. I don't think I need to show you all of that in excruciating detail because I got to figure out how to actually do it. <laughs> so I'll do that uh, real quick and... Tomorrow, I'm going to probably go buy a, a compressor and I need to get uh, uh, th things to go on the compressor that take uh, and dry the air and filter it and all of that stuff. So the air coming out of my spray gun will be nice and clean. Um, so I got to get that and uh, get myself set up and then I'm going to practice a little bit on some stuff. I haven't figured out what yet. Uh, just a little, and then we're going to tackle those wheels, but that's probably all going to happen tomorrow. Tonight, I'm just going to keep working on this body work. Huh. Thanks for watching. Oh, wait a second. Forgot about the money shot here. The grills. Yeah. That looks so much better. Okay. So, I just popped them back in to show you what it looks like. I'm going to pop them back out and keep going on this paint job. Hey, I know I already said it, but I'll say it again. Hey, Jim. <laughs>